Okay, we have uh, some more 3D printed parts. This is the latest design. <coughs> Let me show you this. Uh, again, it's two parts the same, but we've done a bit of tidying up. We made the bottom one um, slightly bigger than the top one, so you can you can tell now that uh, they are two very different components. They look pretty different. So that's an advantage. I think we still have to go through one more uh, through one more design. Okay, uh, mistakes have been made. Uh, let me just support that one there with a little bolt so you can see it. Right, this is the first design uh, which we just quickly knocked up. We made it the, the most basic way that we can. Then we refined it into this. Uh, and this is worse than that. Uh, this is the advantage of getting things made in, uh, getting things prototyped and 3D printed before you go into production. Because this one here, cost twice as much to 3D print as that one and I have no doubt it would cost more to manufacture in metal uh, as we planned. Uh, it's It breaks super easy, we had this failure. Uh, now I'd, I have had a failure on this one but uh, again we're going to adjust the, rather than having, this was a, a hole, an un, what, what do you call that, that's a uh, chamfer isn't it like a chamfered hole that that a countersunk um, screw goes into this had no countersink at all so obviously the, f the pressure out is a lot more than on a countersunk and this failed because it was of the lack of uh, material in that so this one we're going to take that one and chuck it away 90 quid worth of prototyping down the toilet and we're going to work with this one here uh, we're going to improve this slightly uh, by making this diameter slightly bigger. So this will stay exactly the same, this will be slightly bigger which will then um, eat into these arms, these arms that stick out. Because this is thicker it'll, it'll come uh, produce a thicker arm. So they'll strengthen the arms up and uh, it won't break like this because it's it'll be uh, it's two nearly two mil thicker. Uh, the other thing we found with this one was in an attempt to improve the design, we brought the holes closer together, and all this did was to cause it to jam. When you get a number of uh, uh, brackets together in a in a ring, they would just the bolts head the bolt heads would. Um, Go through here, you have a bolt head on here and a bolt head on the other end and it would just lock and jam so that it's, uh, you can't get the same use out of this than you can out of that. So we're going to go back to the original design, little tweak on here and then we're ready for production. Next thing is how do we make it? We've got to, we've, you can 3D print anything but how you manufacture something um, is important so we're going to take a quick look at what I think the po uh, one possible uh, solution for manufacturing will be. Right, we're in SketchUp now. Uh, let's take a look. Um, right, this is this is the new design uh, with the tweaks. I'll just quickly show you around here. Th this now is beefed up a little, and we also run a fillet of material in here. This is going to strengthen this corner because we, the last time we had it break across here. So this is now much thicker. Uh, we haven't had any breaks on the um, connection points, so I'm fairly happy that they're strong enough as they are. Again, we're working in plastic here, 3D printed plastic, which is not the strongest. Uh, the end product is going to be in aluminium, so we've got to bear that in mind as well. Right, let's look at how we manufactured. I've looked at forging, uh, casting, uh, and they all have problems. So what I've settled on is a two-part process. First we get an extruded bar uh, so in aluminium. So this you would get an extrusion made, that's totally possible to do as an extrusion. Uh, so you start with an extrusion, that gives you your first process, then, then this extrusion would be clamped in a vise and a CNC router would simply I'm going to do the, what the router would do. These are Both brackets are on here. This is a bottom bracket and this is a top bracket. So both, both brackets are come out of the same extrusion. And all we do is we 
we drill first. This already has a hole in one end, so you would go, you would drill that, and then you would CNC that mill that out. I would imagine that that would be rounded off because the tool wouldn't go in as sharp as that. So I'm, I'm going to edit that later. Cut that off, then move to the next one. Uh, this this edge would then have that shape on it. Drill a hole and cut round with the CNC. So it's it's one hole and one movement on a CNC on a CNC router. This is a bottom bracket again. It's just a slightly different shape, uh, and this is a top bracket below a bottom bracket. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully in the next video um, we might actually have an aluminium one made. So um, sub subscribe if you want to keep uh, an eye on this project and see how we do. Uh, I'm, I'm busy away next week so we might not get a video next week. Uh, but hopefully, uh, uh, give us two or three weeks, we should maybe start to see some actual components. Uh, in aluminium ready to, to start manufacture. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.